Hey guys, this is Ayan with Channel 2 Games, part of TV on YouTube. In this video, I'm gonna talk about PvP in the secret world. There is a variety of different PvP options available in the game. The three main types are fight clubs, battlefields, and war zones. These range from arena style gameplay to 20 minute killing sessions to long term persistent PvP. Now, I'm breaking the first rule of Fight Club, which is to never talk about Fight Club, but let's just make this one time an exception. Every major city has one Fight Club, one in London, one in New York, and one in Seoul. This is the Anything Goes Arena. You can set up duels, 5v5, 10v10, whatever you want. If you have enough players, you can even raid opposing societies' Fight Clubs. This provides for some excellent griefing. Currently, the game has two battlefields, Stonehenge and Eldorado. Stonehenge is a 5v5v5 King of the Hill type game that lasts for 15 minutes. Points are awarded to whichever team has the most players in the inner ring of Stonehenge. Points are also awarded for knocking people out of the ring or killing them. This allows for two basic strategies for gameplay on this map. Teams may either take a stand in the center ring, try to hold it, and kill everyone who comes into the inner ring, or they may go all out offense and completely blow up everyone who tries to come near the inner ring. Most of the time, teams try to strike a balance between the two. Stonehenge awards the winning team with 9 black marks of Venice and losing teams 3 black marks of Venice. Eldorado consists of 10-man teams dispatched from each society to take control of some ancient Mayan relics. This is basically a capture the flag game, but instead of grabbing the flags, you have to take hold of relics and defend them. You can either pick them up and have the carrier be mobile, or you can plant them in the ground and defend them there. If you plant the relic, your team gets a buff as long as they stay in range. However, the flag can be picked up by the enemy much faster than if a player holding the flag dies and drops it. Choose wisely, plant or carry. Now, all teams start in the center. The relic spawns on the outer edges. Your team must decide which relic to go for and which team to fight against as everybody starts to rush to grab a relic for themselves. Eldorado rewards better players with tokens which can be spent on really good gear. On top of that, the society that has the most wins within the last hour will get a powerful buff for the entire society. This includes damage buffs, healing buffs, health buffs, and even XP gained. Eldorado awards the winning team with 12 black marks of Venice and losing teams 4 black marks of Venice. This battleground lasts for about 20 minutes. And finally, we have the persistent war zone that's active 24-7. It's called Fusang Projects. In this war zone, you can pick up three PvP quests when you zone in. Capture facility, capture animal well, also known as resurrection points, and eliminate 10 enemies. Don't worry, they're all repeatable with cooldowns of course. Only the capture facility quest will give you 7 marks of Venice. The other two quests only rewards you with white marks of Venice. Each society can have up to 150 players in the war zone at a time. This means that there can be up to 450 players in the war zone at any given moment. So if you like to zerg and run around taking over points, this is where you need to be. I keep mentioning these black marks and white marks of Venice, so what are they? They are basically tokens that you need to buy better gear in your city. The black marks can only be acquired through PvP when you do battlegrounds or quests like in Fusang projects. White marks of Venice are easier to get because you can earn them while questing or doing anything else throughout the world. So that pretty much covers most of the PvP aspects in the secret world. If I miss anything, or if you like anything, or just feel like it, leave your comments below. Also, check the description for links to guides and info, and stay tuned to Channel 2 Games for more of the secret world. Have fun guys!